Hi, everyone, and welcome. My name is Sei Kim. I'm a head of cell line development in Samsung Biologics. And today, I will talk about what to consider in selecting the best cell line to accelerate the timeline to IND. The global biopharmaceutical market is growing rapidly. The number of biological IND approval has been increasing over the past few years. The global market size was valued $278 billion in 2020, and the market is growing at a CAGR of, of 14%. The market value of therapeutic antibody products for use in oncology and the therapeutic biologics market has been growing continuously and estimated to grow $300 billion by the end of 2025. Why speed matters in drug development? Successful launch is directly linked to the order of entry in the market. Faster launch provides a competitive edge against the competitors with dominating market share. Market share percentage of a first and second order of entry are over 70%. New drug development takes time at least 10 years from discovery to market and cost average $1.3 billion. Many new drug development companies have experienced major delays. Potential loss for one day of delays is $600,000 to as high as $8 billion. So reducing development timeline can decrease investment cost dramatically. We introduced as choice, Samsung Super to sell internally developed, the best choice to start your therapeutic development journey. The cell lineage itself is composed of a 2K1 cell with GS knockout selection system. The knockout developed using Talon technology. The cell line can deliver high productivity with seven plus gram reader. It maintains high viability over 90% through day 21. I will introduce the Samsung platform. First, to take you through the development of the whole system. Just knockout cell line development was initiated to K1 received from ATCC, adapted CD to media. From there, we initiated transfection of the host cell line with Talon mRNA for knockout just gene. We proceed to the genome cleavage detection assay to look for positive pores to be carried through single cell cloning stage. We went through a round of screening to passage with or without glutamine media and the sandwich around the gene sequencing to confirm the true knockout target of locus. Finally, we went through media adaptation. More to the point, we went through switch and the base formulation of 16 subclones from the CD2 formulation that we initially start with to Excel CD2 fusion media. Finally, we selected the five subclones. The knockout of individual clones in the selection of the top five candidates, we froze research cell bank and initiated as choice performance test. Here we carry through IGG expression and all five hosted through our full cell line development. So that includes transfection and plating 1096 well plates, 5,000 cells per well, going through the stable mini selection process with static screening by Octet. As we move the top 10% of those pores through the ranking process, we performed 24-hour QP assessment, followed by 11 days bad bets, and ultimately shake plus 14 day bad bets production study was used to screen individual mini pores that were carried through the single cell cloning stage. We continually journey through cell line development performance testing workflow. We are ultimately at the 14 day fat batch screen of the mini pores. Here, evaluation method is done using shake plus top five pores, HL control, and the individual clones were carried through 14 day fat batch and the advanced bad batch media with feed starting at day three. Analysis was tighter by octet and cell growth by Y cell. We can see graph in the below on the left side to control. 
typical expression of IgG1 through our workflow is 2.9 gram per liter at day 14. And in comparison, the S choice with the top individual host pool, you can see the heat 5.7 gram per liter. So almost a 200% increase in the individual titer at the meaningful stage. This allow you to move through your process development by transferring meaningful through upstream process development to generate material for formulation, analytical, and downstream development. From here, we took the top expressing many per and went through single cell isolation stage. As we move through performance test, ultimately jumping to final 14 day fat based process screening, the final isolated single cell clones. The process here, the media was Excel advanced fat batch formulation from Mark, the feed of cell boost 7A and 7B from high clone, and a working volume of 50 ml. The graph on the right compared to stable pores and then resulting clones from both Cho control and S choice. They were show previous slide with titer of 2.9 and 5.7 gram per liter and resulting clones are isolated from those stable pores. With the Cho control, you can see the titer increased from 2.9 to 3.4 gram per liter. But as choice of the cell line produced 5.7 gram per liter for pool and 7.6 gram per or clone. So we demonstrated the ability of the host cell line to generate clone with sufficient titer and expression level of over 7 gram per liter and allow upstream development colleagues to work on the high manufacturer performance evaluation. Here we are showing the result of seeding density and feed optimization study we took the clone that was producing seven gram per liter on previous flight and went through for 21 days bad batch process. In the middle graph of viability, you can see even at end 21 days, the viability of these individual host and multiple different seeding density is still above 90%. Now we were cost of goods perspective you may not want to run for 21 days fat batch manufacturing process. It does point the robustness of cell. And eventual result from tighter perspective, just for a particular study, not only was that 90% viability maintained through the 21 days, but the tighter achieved at 21 days was over 11 gram per liter. Demand for developing of a more complex molecule is increasing. Innovations in science and technology over the last few decades enabled scientists to, to create far more advanced and complex pharmaceuticals for new and better cures with fewer side effects. One third of total pipelines developed for clinical trial are made of a complex molecule with challenges to verify validate its challenging chemical and physical property. It is mandatory to prepare for the platform and analytical method for verification and validation to ensure high titer, high quality, and speed to market. This is a Samsung Biologic cell line development workflow. Cell line development completes within three months, generating high quality, high titer clones. Six weeks for pool screening and seven weeks for clone screening, and selected the top five RCB. Many of our clients are developing by specific, another novel construct, as well as monoclonal antibodies. We provide analytical service during pool and clone screening, depends on client's request and molecular type. There is increasing demand for developing high throughput methods for analyzing these therapeutic molecules for selecting high quality pores and clones in early stage. Cyanylation is an important post translation modification that significantly affects the efficacy of therapeutic glycoproteins. So the measurement of cyanic acid during early screening stage is needed to get high cyanylated pores and clones. However, it is a challenging task because of low cell culture volumes 
and low concentration of secreted proteins. We established high-therapy method for relative screening of sialic acid content using Octet. We can see the figure in the below on the left side. The analysis is based on the binding rate of mar one lectin mound glycans with sialic acid. And crude sample culture supernatant can be analyzed. We can see graph in the below on the right side, high correlation of octic silylation and total silylic acid by HPLC. So using this method, we can select high silylated pores and clones in all these aligned screening stage. One dripping quality for your IND submission. For seeing the demand for the industry needs, we add extra gauge to the speed. Trending up to date from standard monoclonal antibody development to complex molecules. Samsung Biologics one stop integrated CDMO service to save time, cost, and effort. End to end offering with fully integrated development and manufacturing service at a single site. Effective and seamless transition to large scale. Transfer your project to the world's largest commercial manufacturing facility at a single location. Save up to 9.5 months and 50% cost reduction by transitioning into our largest scale facility located under the same loop. And we have a highly dedicated core team alongside to accelerate your time to market. One core team with proven expertise in any type of development at any phase. Leverage our pool of industry experts and library of reference data reflecting numerous development and manufacturing data. No matter in any phase, our core team knows what needs to be done and what doesn't for reducing time to market. Thank you for listening to my presentation. And if you have any question, please contact Samsung Biologics.